I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch Yeah, I'm ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin' Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium Where they will shake down thunder from the sky To cheer on their fighting Irish And hoping that plenty of echoes will reverberate in victory at the end of the game. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Duke Blue Devils, taking on the 13th ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. 48 Sports College Football by Reese Davis joined here after the throw, and it'll cost his defense. Gonna run it, it's more. At the 35, he's open. That is exactly. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils! Well, the offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. Stopped him in the backfield on third down. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. He's going to try to punch one through from 45 yards away. Never a doubt. And they'll push that lead out a little further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Ole Miss has the lead right now, but I don't care if it's Archie or Eli back there. We've come to learn that no lead is safe inside Bought Hemingway. They're up by seven over Middle Tennessee. We'll circle. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Looking for a crease. It's Price. Got some room. Head to the goal line. And he'll play his way into the score. Touchdown by the Irish. Precision blocking up front. He the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. And momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive. Getting a stop, and now you have the football back. You're playing. And it's caught inside the 30. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Snap's going to come from the 23 on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Working that left side. Touchdown, Duke! Reeled it in and just made the house call. 
And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. Tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Just not enough leg on that kick. He wasn't able to clear the crossbar. Wants to throw on first down. He lofts it high and deep down the left side. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. He gets the pick, but not the pick six, as they're able to run him out of bounds and limit the damage to wrap up the half. the end of the second quarter that means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update all right guys looks like we've got a great one in South Bend going on and you know in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days and that's refreshing with that said, let's send it back to the fellas there in the shadows of Touchdown Jesus. Deep and make huge plays. I tell you what, this Notre Dame offense can be so great. If you continue to find that guy and he keeps putting up big numbers, the expressway is wide open. Touchdown Notre Dame! And with that, they got the lead here in the second half. And a huge run from the back for six. Man, it's nice to have a running back that can do that. That makes everything else easy on offense. Hey, hand it to that guy. He makes a big play. Yes, please. Nope, these guys stayed home and played their assignment, and that's why they had success. That's a 20. He's got space. Then pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll throw on third and short. He makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Great timing here between the quarterback and receiver. You're down close to the end zone. Ball's going to come out quickly. Receiver's got to win quickly, and they were on the same page on that TD. Trying to find his man on first down. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Kicker in a huge spot. Between the uprights, it's good. They'll toss it to the left. Fighting to get it out of the end zone, and I don't think he made it. He did not. It's a safety. 
And that's a big-time play by this defense. When you needed it the most in the fourth quarter, this game is super close. It's tight. Not only do you make a play and get a stop, you put points on the board. and you Couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one. Well, after back-to-back -back losses, this team is really teetering on the edge of disaster. They got to try to hold on to the positives, as hard as that is to do right now, having lost a couple back-to-back, -back, because this team has good players, and they've got good schemes on both sides of the ball. Just things have not gone their way. They just need to make a few more plays to turn this thing around. Yeah, and, and they can do it, and they will do it. Listen, you get you got to get the players right. You got to get those guys in there believing. Um, this is part of what happens. You got to take a few lumps sometimes, take those losses. But this team's going to figure it out. You can tell they got the right stuff. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.